the precision. No precision. There's no such thing as precision in my kitchen. <laughs> So have you decided what you're gonna cook? Mm, tofu with celery Vegetarian day And uh, bihun maybe? Bihun? Maybe, I'm not sure it Stir fry? Yeah, because I'm Indo, carbs on carbs Oh, okay <laughs> See guys, you learned something about Indo culture You eat everything with rice So wait, you have rice and noodles at the same time? Yeah Like all Indonesians do that or what? Um, a lot of us have Wow. Yeah, we eat tom yum with rice. So, uh, why do you have so much egg white? Uh, because I made lapis leggy the other day, <laughs> which was kind of dry. You might want to show your viewers. So, how many eggs do you use for your kuih lapis? 23 for half a kuih lapis. Fun fact. But unfortunate. Yeah. You see, I was like, spent, like, I spent so much time just um, cutting. I mean, cracking open eggs. So yeah. So now you know like why kuih lapis are so expensive. Yes. Cake lapis, I mean. So he's cooking Thai with, with egg, egg whites. With egg whites. <laughs> <laughs> with egg white. I don't have any eggs, so. No. You know, it's fine, I guess. I'm gonna use my Hope I don't kill you. I'm actually very scared for your fingers. Why? Because I don't want my channel to become like a horror. <laughs> <laughs> horror kind of. This is one of the better brands of tofu in Melbourne. You heard, you heard it here first! Changqing Xianghua Tofu. What is it in English? Evergreen. Use these ones. You can get it at Woolies as well. How much do you pay for it? <laughs> okay, anyways, you guys know where to get it. It's at Woolies. Is today a vegetarian day? No, but I eat vegetarian from the night before because in my family we do that. Because my great grandma did it that way. Apparently, it's quite a Rana thing. To do it the day before and the day. So it's like two days. The night before and the day itself. So on the day itself, my great grandma would uh, would eat vegetarian for breakfast and uh, lunch, but not for dinner. But I thought like might as well just do dinner. So I do like evening of day minus one, and then on the day itself, the whole day. Mm -hmm. Should I do this? slightly pan fry this. My survival cooking. I just need food to work tomorrow. So I'm kind of you know, kind of sad, kind of depressed <laughs> that my long weekend is over. So are you doing a home recipe or is it like an impromptu kind of recipe? This is actually quite um a Hokkien recipe. I think it's a Hokkien recipe that we um, eat quite a bit at home which is um, stir-fried tofu with uh, celery. Oh. Although, of course, um, I'm just doing like a cheats version Wherein, like, I'm just shallow frying my tofu instead of deep frying it Golden brown You know, doing the, all the wrong ratios But, as I said, I just need to prepare a lot for lunch <laughs> <laughs> But like, I would cook ramen if there was enough ramen to last me for a while Ah uh. But, I can't... Oh shit, it's calm. Careful. You can beat that, I swore, on camera. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I just did. Shit is it. fine. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I but like... in case you guys don't know, Steph swears a lot. I don't? He's also very dirty minded. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> this is all accusations, okay? Baseless accumulation? Exactly. You sure? Yes. I'm Down so like, um, I'm like a... What do you call it? Saint? 
So how do you pan fry tofu? Do you like remove the water later? Um, this is, I told you, this is the wrong way of pan frying tofu. As you can see, it's like full of water, so it's not actually going to get brown. <laughs> but, cheap version. Um, yeah. It is though. Don't video this, it's actually disgusting. <laughs> So when I cook with celery, right, at least in my family, we generally um, like cooking with chives or cooking with um, spring onion. We generally wouldn't add any other onions. You know how you generally add garlic or shallots or what else? What's the other? Brown onion into your cooking. Yeah. Generally, if we use these already cooked vegetables, we wouldn't add any of that. Is it like an Indonesian thing? I'm not sure, it's just my family I think Because um, you already have that additional depth of flavor So you don't need the shallots or garlic That's new Like when you stir fry, right? Yeah. Stir fry veggies, you would usually add garlic, ginger or whatever But like in this case, since I'm using celery, I won't add any more um, garlic It's just celery and whole Indonesian way! I don't know, my family <laughs> way I don't think it's an Indo way <laughs> Yeah, uh, look at the unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate and limp tofu. It actually looks very nice though, the brown. The last time I made it, right, I was using tau kwa. Ah. So there's less water in it. That was when I stir, stir fried it with leek. And Ooh. that browned really, really well. I was also eating it just as this. Whereas this time around, it's just tofu. So. I this is hot tofu. tofu, right? This is just soft tofu. And it doesn't like... It doesn't break? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not the soft, soft tofu. It's oh, just, medium. Just tofu. Okay. Okay. A bit of salt, a bit of sugar, and that's pretty much it. It's interesting though, because like, I thought people would usually uh, put garlic first and then... But we don't add garlic. Yeah. Oh. So, it's natural taste of the food. Not really. We added sugar in there. <laughs> Okay. Professional and all eh. Yeah. So I guess it's fried tofu with celery. Yeah. And noodle? No, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna make noodles. Okay. So you just How much you want some? Hmm. I actually have nothing in my fridge. So I can't really make it. Just one dish will do. I could make so um some eggplant, but that rotting thing. <laughs> Would you like to eat this eggplant? <laughs> oh my god! Why is this still in your fridge? Yeah, I should get it. <laughs> oh my god! Waste money. It's fine. So you buy celery for yourself. Um, yeah, I needed a bit of celery for, um, I forgot what for last time. And, uh, yeah, I still had quite a bit of it. Yeah, not the best looking, but, um, hopefully it tastes good. It looks promising already. I don't usually taste my cooking, but since, you know... You don't have to. You're here today, I probably should. You don't have to though. I'm fine. I don't want it to be like too salty or too salty. Steph, I haven't tried your... I mean, I haven't eaten your cooking you for have. a very long time. I tried your soup last time, remember? Okay, uh... Okay. Maybe December, probably December. Okay. Sounds good. Since you have a woolly... Oh yeah, the new one. Yeah. Oh look, it's vlog! Huh? <laughs> vlog our experience. I have South Mountain Market also. We can just go there to get groceries and we can cook. Food. Even better. Right! Yeah, okay guys, so Let's stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're gonna do some collab. <laughs> some what? Collab wow. with a foodie. Should I use interesting bowls because you're here today? No, 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 no. it's fine. You sure? Uh, or like, I want like... I want it on a 24k gold plate. Which I don't have, so unfortunately, can't be done. I'm missing my master chef, I'm not even listening. Do you want me to turn it up? No.
Dude, the tofu is so ugly. It's brown. But it's ugly. It's limp and ugly. So, so I've added in some olive oil just to fry the egg whites. But now I'm adding just a tiny bit of shallow oil to give it a good flavor. Just a tiny bit because it's a bit potent. So if you use shallot oil, you don't have that. Is it a substitute for shallot? It, uh, I would say like a pseudo substitute. It's not as um nice as making our own shallot oil, store bought ones. But I can't be bothered, um, you know, cutting all those shallots open just like when I'm making that. Time. It's too much effort. So I guess we call it a substitute because small Asian shallots aren't. Exactly, easily found in Melbourne. Like the you brown? can find them. The big shallots yeah. are slightly different to the tiny, tiny shallots which we oh. usually use in Asia. So, so yeah. So what are you cooking now? That's like, oh, this is my Thai pork with egg whites, <laughs> not eggs, because yeah, unfortunately I don't have eggs, and I need to use up my egg whites. So <laughs> this is what you get. It's so white. <laughs> it's healthy version. Not entirely. It's like healthy version. But like, it's got oil in there. So you would usually eat Thai po with eggs. Thai po eggs. With congee. Like for Teochew porridge. Mm. But it's very common. Um, it's very common like I guess Hokkien food as well. Like uh, home, home, home cooking food. Home, home food. So yeah, I, I grew up eating this a lot because my family's cooking. And on vegetarian days, I would typically eat taiko with eggs because it's one of the easiest things to make. And my grandma would also make it often when um. we're on our vegetarian days. So yeah, but I've never made egg whites. <laughs> <laughs> it's a first for so everything. I'm day? not sure how it's gonna taste like, but hopefully, it will suit Steph's taste. No. I'm just I have very low expectations with food. So. Yeah, please have very low expectations today because this was literally like clearing out my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> what do you usually cook at home, Steph? Just stir fried veggies. Oh shit, it's all brown because it's just white. Yeah, sorry again. Sorry. Sorry, viewers. Please unsubscribe. <laughs> it's okay, I don't have a lot of subscribers. You'll have more. No. It's gonna be a fail, it's gonna be a fail. Oh, oh shit, that is brown. so rough. It's so. It's you know, I feel like you're making a soft lay. <laughs> Thoughts. Okay, I need to do another video when I'm actually doing proper cooking. Because mm -hmm. this is an injustice. <laughs> Typical <laughs> cooking that I do. Oh anyway, God. survival food, survival food. I just need this for lunch tomorrow and for dinner tonight. And to feed Steph. Because I'm not she's gonna spend like what? Two hours to get home, and she needs to cook her pork or pork belly, which has been in there for like what three weeks. <laughs> no, and, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. And she's gonna get food poisoning. And, and then you guys will visit me in the hospital. Or like, would I actually? I'm gonna zoom on this to sh to shame you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> okay, change of plan. This is actually um uh an authentic <laughs> Indonesian. <laughs> Uh, fried egg white. So what's the Indo name for it? The Lord <laughs> Okay, attack him everyone. <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh, like so clear. Yeah, this is so sad. I actually don't think it's going to good. Actually, I think I'll like it because of the sweet Thai ball inside. Okay. But even sweet Thai ball, like, I tried it just now, it's not even that sweet. It's actually quite... Um, I think it's going to be spicy because of the chili that I added. Mm. Wow, oh flip, God, I... Are you gonna flip it? Okay, no, 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 you're gonna sure, flip sure, it. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. he did it. Mm -hmm. I'm done. 